and I actually have no hands because one of them should be on the wheel, but I'm going to take it off of the wheel and hold the wheel in place with my knees to do this. I want you to hold it between your knees. You're listening to That Gets My Goat on the Doonstief Audio Fiction Magazine. Hi, everybody, and welcome to That Gets My Goat. I am Big Anklevich. And I'm Rich Outfield. Thanks for listening. That's right. Thanks for tuning that dial into our great station. What was the uh, what was the name of the station that they were at, Big Ben and Ricky, in the morning? Oh, I can't remember. K D I K. K D I K. You say? <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to K U N T Radio. <laughs> I'm Big Ben, and I'm Ricky. Hey. Yay! All right. How you been doing, Big Ben? I've been good been really good. I can tell you're doing good. You got a chicken leg in your hand. I think this may actually be a turkey. It's so big. Uh, speaking of turkeys, that show we did yesterday about the book list. Oof. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who reads anyways? The phones were lit up of people saying they would never listen again. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a better list this week, Ricky? Oh, geez, I don't know. I'm doing, I'm doing your accent. Sorry, I, I keep doing that. I did that when we did the show, too. I kept wanting to copy you. <laughs> Let me do that thing. Uh, hey, uh, did you catch VH1 last night, Ben? No, I was having sex last night. Oh, well, okay. I've, I must be nice. I, uh, I was watching yes, it is. VH1, and they were doing another one of their worthless uh, list shows. You, you've heard of these before, right? Where the, uh, the I don't know who they are, the writers? Are there writers on VH1? Uh, the, the... Can they be called writers? That sounds like a pretty uh, liberal uh, definition of the word. Yeah, yeah, you always bring politics into this, don't you? <laughs> the people behind VH1 had put together one of these lists, and, and the list last night was Top 100 Hard Rock Songs. And uh, I thought of you, as I often do, late at night. I thought that you would enjoy. I, 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 I nearly called you, but apparently there was a beast at your apartment. A beast with two backs. That's right. And uh, I was a wee bit busy. I would have just sent it straight to the voicemail. So thanks for not calling, Ricky. Well, I thought of you. My uh, thoughts and prayers. But I thought... <laughs> since we were doing a show today, that it would be fun to go through that list with you because uh, you're, you're a bit of an expert on hard rock, I would, at least in my life. All right. You know, I don't know that I can keep doing this voice. It, it takes <laughs> muscles that are beyond just the podcasting muscle. Yeah. I don't know. It's weird. It's like uh, Chris Hemsworth. I saw him in... Uh, Another one of those damn Huntsman movies. And he was doing it. I thought it was like a Scottish accent through the whole movie. And there were a couple of times when I was like, hey, Chris, what happened to your Scottish accent? It was like really hard to understand you at the beginning of the movie. And now where did it go? But I wondered about him if it just it's really difficult to do a performance where you have to speak with an accent the whole time. Because he's always either English or he's American or in that case... I thought it was Scottish. I don't know what it was. He's never his own voice because nobody wants to hear that. Right, Gino? There's no stories set in Australia. That's weird. Stories don't happen there. Well, you know, they make a Ned Kelly movie every six months, but we won't get those. So anyhow, I just wondered about that. If, uh, if that's difficult, you know, uh, if it's hard to look as good as Chris Hemsworth does. Because, you know, he wakes up and he's like, oh, God, I got a pimple. Just uh, That just, like, ruin his day? Like, a, you know, like it would, like a 14-year-old girl or, you know, a prom queen or something like that. But then, yeah, I thought about the accent, and um, I have to admit, I do think about Chris Hemsworth more than I ought to. As do many people. Oh, okay, well, good. Good. A lot of stalkers hanging outside his window, day in, day out. I'm worthy to hold it, Thor. <laughs> so, uh, th- like I was saying, or like uh, Ricky was saying, they, they made a list of 100 best hard rock songs. And when I originally did my search, I typed top 
hard rock songs. But that's confusing because you could like go to a billboard site and it's giving you like the most successful hard rock songs. Right. And maybe that would been would have been better because I definitely would have recognized some of these songs that I don't. And it would be more objective too. It's just like, okay, it's just whoever made the most money or sold the most copies or whatever. Yeah. And instead of somebody being like, no, this one is better than that one. Yeah, see, that's, that's the thing. I, I, there were a bunch of lists like it, and I figured if there's no Rolling Stone list, then VH1 is probably the second best. But maybe that's not the case. I mean, when you think of hard rock, do you <laughs> think of VH1? Video hits one! No, uh, that was always like the older person's video channel. And then it just became a not a video channel, and it was a list show channel. <laughs> I guess when you think of lists, you think of VH1, but you don't think of hard rock when you think of VH1. I don't know that they ever did hard rock, except for when they did behind the music shows about hard rock bands. Well, and... uh, that, that brings me to the other question. And maybe the, more imp- the, the most important question is, is this worth doing? Will this be entertaining <laughs> to the listener? And I don't have an answer for that, except for uh, about three years ago, four years ago, you were on your way home from work and, and you were going to, we were going to record it. We were, I'm, it was back in the days when we did Dune Steve episodes. But you got stuck in traffic. There was an accident. There was a snowstorm. I don't know what it was. It was a snowstorm. In- it was an insane snowstorm that w- had slowed traffic everywhere. And so it took me like two to three hours to drive home that night. And so to entertain you, I said, oh, hey, I've got a list here. And it was very similar to this. But the list I remember being the top 100 eight songs from the 1980s. And I said, I'm just going to quiz you until you get home on these. And so you just started calling out ladies' names. Um, no, you just started calling out <laughs> song titles, and I would tell you where they were on the list or what they weren't on the list. And then after a little while, where you're like, I, I can't think of any more, I would give you hints. Uh, we just went down through the, the whole list, and, and I gave you hints. And when you finally got home, you said, shoot, we should have been recording this. Because that was really fun. And, and you might have also been humoring me, patronizing me, throwing me no, a bone. No, I bow. really enjoyed myself. That was, uh, that was a true statement, sir. Now, will it be that way again? Yeah. Mm, who's to say? <laughs> See, that's the thing, is, is we did an episode where we did a book list. And in my head, it would be just as fun. But, but, but the answer was no, it was not fun. And we never did yeah. it again. But I always wanted to, because there's so many lists. Movies, you know, it's like go to the AFI top 100 movie quotes list or whatever and see how many of them Big can name. And that, see, that, that would be really fun. Or maybe you'd do that to me. Top 100 scariest movies list or, you know, top 100 Marvel Comics characters or best sitcoms. Hey, Spot Pete. He didn't make the list. But I figured, okay, Hard Rock, we're going to do this with, with Big Anklevich. Like I said, that was the, the biggest question is, is it worth doing? But the second biggest question is, what is Hard Rock? Yeah, that's, that's kind of a hard question to answer, really. That's probably as subjective as what makes the list. Yeah, and it's, isn't that a, a difficult question to answer? Because, like, there's the, uh, there's the classic rock station here in Houston, the Eagle, and one of their favorite things to play on this classic rock station, in my mind, doesn't even count as rock. They're always playing Phil Collins songs on the classic rock station. And I'm always just like, ah, come on guys, it's the classic rock station, not the classic pop station. Why are we playing Phil Collins? Okay, but In the Air Tonight has to be considered, even by you, a rock song. Yeah, In the Air Tonight could be a rock song, but it's such a slow song too that, uh, 
It's hard to say, but okay. in general, Phil Collins was pop, and so yeah, you can have outliers. Like Prince has songs you could say were rock, but yeah, not really. Prince is not a rock artist; he's a pop artist. See, yeah, that that's a hard one to answer. I, I okay, the greatest rock song of all time, in my opinion, is number fifty-five on this list. Okay, and that's definitely. A, 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 it's considered a hard rock song. But if I were doing my own list, you're like, okay, Rish, uh, I need a list of one your favorite 100 rock songs by t- First Thing Tomorrow or Sean Connery Will Die. I could do it, but like Synchronicity 2 by The Police would be on that list. You know, every single meeting with his so-called superior is a humiliating kick to the crotch. To me, that's a rock song, uh-huh. but nobody else, they'd be like, the police, you know, it's like when Sting won best rock song for the Soul Cages, and people are like, what? <laughs> rock? Right. You know what I mean? I, it's like when uh, Metallica lost best uh, heavy metal song to uh, Jethro Tull. Ah, Jethro and Everybody's Tull. like, Jethro Tull is heavy metal? What the hell? Well, I see, to me, hard rock and heavy metal are synonymous. Those are, are, are two things that are describing the exact yeah, same that's, thing. But I don't that's, know that everybody would feel that way. And definitely these that's, VH1 bastards. And I'm, I'm just, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm not burying the lead. This list is bizarre. Yeah, see, that's what I was going to say is that there is, uh, there's a fine line between, I mean, there's heavy metal then there's hard rock and then i guess there's probably just regular rock where do you where do you decide what fits where so there are songs on here that i i have no like the artist i have no idea who that is and it seems like to get on the list of 100 greatest you have to every single one of these at least the artist you have to know who it is in my opinion that's the case now, now the list is from 2009. Okay. So if it were from 2019, would, do you think it would have changed? Have there been any songs in the last 10 years that would be considered one of the 100 greatest hard rock songs? I wouldn't think so. I was going to just throw out some, something awful that's totally not a rock song. Well, you could. Gautier had that great song with that chick, uh, somebody I used to know. That would probably be on the list. Well, see, now I'm even more confused because that to me is not hard <laughs> rock either. My guess is that 99 of these songs would remain and that maybe there's one song from like 2014 that, they, that made the list where we'd go, oh, yeah, I, okay, that, that's fair. The vast majority of these songs, and I I know you'll agree with me, rightly so, you'll say, are from the 1970s and the 1980s. Yeah. There there are a couple of... The list of top 100 jazz songs hasn't changed in the last 10 years either. (laughs) Rock and roll, uh, you know, they did so many songs back in the day of, you know, rock and roll is dead, they say, well, long live rock. Uh... Wait, what, yeah. who was that? Rock what and was Roll that? really, it wasn't a very good rendition of it, but I think The Who did a song that's where they said that. Interesting. But yeah, they've been talking about rock being dead for a long time and, you know, way before it was dead. But it is long dead and buried now, unfortunately, for those of us who like hard rock. Well, here on KRUD, rock and roll never <laughs> dies. And that was another thing that I wanted to do, is, is pretend that we were radio DJs and we would interrupt the game with, okay, here's the weather, and here is Phil Collins within the air tonight. Now on with the countdown. Yeah, I thought that that would be really fun, but uh, logistics being what they are, we, we couldn't do that. But maybe we will sometime. I think it would be really, really fun to just, I, I, I think it would be really fun to be a radio DJ. I think it would be really fun to not be me, just for a day. <laughs> But this might be indicative of what we're talking about on this list. There are five bands on the list that have more than one song on the list. There's no band that has three. 
And I'm wondering if, oh, gosh, I wish I had just watched the damned VH1 thing. Because, yeah, it was exactly what you said. It was like a whole week where they do an hour each night, number 100 through 80. And then tomorrow, you know, number 79 through through four, oddly enough. Yeah, I think I remember when they did just the best songs of all time or something like that. Well, see, that would be fun. But boy, how do you pick that? I don't know. Okay, so so the, because there are a couple on here where I'm just like, holy crap, I have no idea who that is and I don't have any idea what that song is. I don't think you can get all 100. But I thought it would be fun to see how many you could get. And then um, if there are some that are giving you a hard time and you need suggestions or whatever, we'll take, we'll take calls from the listeners. But yeah, before we go, not a single song from the Beatles. So that may really? may help you d- know what they define give, as hard rock. Give me an idea of what hard rock is. No Beatles songs. Like would, wouldn't you say that Come Together is a hard rock song if Yeah, I would I would give Come Together probably a I mean, I don't know, hard rock when they say hard rock as opposed to just rock. Like hard rock isn't a category in my mind you have rock and then you have like heavy metal and you don't have something in between but yeah come together is definitely rock maybe if you if you gotta go hard rock maybe it doesn't count because it's not super heavy well uh, some of these songs are the opposite of super heavy where you're just like ah come on right. man uh, and something I'm going I'm doing right now if you want to vamp while I'm doing it, is I'm taking the thes off the names of the bands because they're no longer in alphabetical order if you... I have to go to every <laughs> single band that has the in it and see, you know, in, the police aren't in the P's, they're in the thes. Here's a question for you. How are we doing this? I just have to guess every single song? Well, You're not like saying, okay, here's the band, what's the song, or something like that? Well, I was going to have you start the second you left from work, and then when you got home, we would see, we would count how many you had gotten. But that's impossible, because I'm, I'm guessing you're probably home already. I'm getting close. I'm not quite home, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. So let's just go. Uh, just start calling. Okay. Like, in, in your opinion... Here. Or, or as from what you know, you know, it's like what is always considered the greatest song or whatever. And I'll just, I'll bold each one there or, you know, I'll, on the list that you get right. you mark it. Yeah. Okay, so here's my request to start this game off. I want you to give me five songs that are on the list. That you will never get. Okay. Not necessarily that I will never get, just five songs to give me a, just a good smattering of what they think a hard rock song is just to prime the pump <laughs> so that I can uh, hopefully uh, get an idea and then start start making some guesses. Boy, that's hard. Just any five, doesn't matter. You, it's up to you. Alphabetize them, so. I have alphabetized them. Okay, number 22 uh, by the Jimi Hendrix Experience. Okay. Can you guess what it might be? There's a lot of songs by the Jimi Hendrix Experience that probably should be on the top 100 list. But it's... Um, I'm going to guess uh, All Along the Watchtower. See, that's the one that should be on the list, because that is definitely... It, it should be on any list. It is not. Okay. It... And then your second Foxy choice... Foxy Lady. What? Oh, Foxy, Foxy Lady? Foxy Lady. No, it's not on there either. I thought you were going to say... Crosstown Traffic. Uh, no. Uh, are you experienced? No. Wow, you know Jimi Hendrix really well. Uh, let me think of some other ones. Hey Joe. Okay. Yes, it is Hey Joe, number twenty-two. Okay. Jimi Hendrix <laughs> experience. I, I had forgotten about Hey Joe, really, I, except for the guy that uh, told me Star Wars is dead. Didn't you know? Uh, his name is Joe, and sometimes when I'd see him, I'd say, Hey Joe, wh- wh- hey, where are you going with that gun in your hand? And he'd go, Ha ha. <laughs> um. Okay, yeah, this one, even the, uh, the writer of the list the on, online, the person that had transcribed it, that said, you know, oh, this whole week we've been wa- counting them down, he had a problem with this one. Buck Cherry. 
Buck Cherry. Uh, it's gotta be saved to no shoot. That's Eagle Eye Cherry. Uh, <laughs> you know, I can't remember what song it was that Buck Cherry did. They were a were they a '90s or were they a post? Were they a first decade of the 2000s? What did they call that? The oddies, the naughties. Somebody called them the naughties, but that's gone away. I don't know this band at all, and the guy who wrote who who tabulated the list seemed to have issues with it being on the list. But the song is called Lit Up, and that made the list. Yeah, I don't know that song at all. I mean, I might know the song. Maybe if I heard the song, I would know it, but by the title, I don't know it. Yeah, I, I, think, I think I would be familiar with it if I heard it, but I don't know. Okay, this is a band that should be on no list ever. Even bands made famous in Rich Outfield's life by doing a song on a Nightmare on Elm Street 3 list, it would not make the list. Dawkin. Ooh, Dawkin. I love Dawkin. What song did they have from Dawkin? Breaking the Chains? Breaking the Chains. How does that go? Breaking the chains around you. Nobody else can find you. I can't do a Dawkin voice. It's a little too high-pitched for me. Now I'm... Breaking the chains. Okay, we're going to stop with that because we just <laughs> lost five listeners. I can't blame them. Okay, I, I'm going to give you two more because you wanted five, right? Yeah. There's a band called Rainbow on the list. Number 82. I've heard of that. So this band, and I bet when you say the song, I will recognize the song, but I couldn't tell you what it is. If you say so, the song is called Since You Been Gone. Well, are you sure that's not Kelly Clarkson? <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the funny thing is Kelly Clarkson has... Uh, once, once Kelly, Kelly Clarkson, Clarkson sings, sings a song, song it's, it's eternally it's hers. hers. You know, that kind of thing. <laughs> it's like she you has co-opted Since You Been Gone forever, in my opinion. And rightly so. She's a national treasure, kids. Oh, yeah. You should have seen the uh, outfit she was wearing on The Voice tonight. So what did they say? Somebody said, oh, I can't remember what they called it, but yeah, it's this crazy outfit that had like this huge V-shaped thing that stuck off of her chest like several feet. Feet? <laughs> Not several feet, but uh, probably a full foot off into the air on either side of her shoulders. It was really weird. What? Anyways. But you know, something like docking the breaking the chains, would that have made your list or would you ever have gotten it had I not? Well, yeah, see, that's why I wanted to get these songs uh, from you because it's hard to say what, they, what they're going to say. But Dokken is what I would call a hard rock band. And they okay. were legitimately a big deal in the 80s. They weren't gigantic, but they were a big enough deal that, uh, you know, I owned Dokken back for the attack which was the album uh, that they had me and my friends listened to Dawkin. my friends actually had uh, one of my friends had their greatest hits album which included the nightmare on elm street song well good good i was gonna say oh so dream warriors and maybe breaking the chains it was just yes. a, a we're EP. the dream warriors okay i'm gonna do one more uh, <laughs> a band that has only grown in esteem over the past 20 years, Queen has one song on the list. And it's not the song you think it would be, nor the song after that, nor the song after that. But 19 rows down, that's the song that it is. Can you guess what it would be? Well, I, I, I can kind of understand that because Queen was all over the map with the kind of songs that they would put out. So if we're going with their best hard rock song... I guess you could say Bohemian Rhapsody is a hard rock song because it has a hard rock part in it, but it's also, you could say it was an opera song or something. So that uh, is an interesting. My guess uh -huh. of their best hard rock song would be Stone Cold Crazy. Okay, see, you should be doing this list and I should be, I should be having sex tonight. Uh, Cause yes, it is Stone Cold Crazy, number 38. What is that? What is that? He said twice. Uh, it's a really good song, to tell you the truth. And the first time that I heard it, I was like, what the hell? This is Queen? Because it's really, as far as hard rock songs go, 
that's probably one of their hardest songs. I mean, I'm not a huge Queen aficionado or anything, so I don't know all of their stuff. But uh, yeah, this this one's pretty. It's pretty heavy. It could make the list of like top heavy metal songs. Interesting. I would have expected if somebody said Queen, I would have expected "We Will Rock You." I mean, I figured that's that would be number one. Number two, Bohemian Rhapsody, because that's on everybody's list. Because there's no song in there. Uh, there has never been a song like Bohemian Rhapsody. Right. And, and and there, you know, they have a bunch of other hits. But yeah, I don't know Stone Cold Crazy. Yeah. Okay. So, so is is that a pretty good sampling, or should we just continue to go through the list like this? Or I, I'd still like to get like a good twenty from you, so I can say, okay, yeah, that is on here. Yeah, that's that's a pretty good sampling. Let me see if I can start naming some songs. See, the hard part is I, I know there's going to be certain bands that are going to have songs on there. They have, and but you've said that no band has more than two, so. That's going to make it tough because certain bands should have a lot on the list and then other bands just, you know. Okay, well, if they asked you for the, you know, the, what should have the most songs in the hard rock list? Huh, maybe Van Halen. Well, okay, Van Halen is one of those that has two. That has two? Yeah, I can't imagine that they wouldn't be. <laughs> But uh, my guess for Van Halen, I'm going to say Panama. Oh, you want me to say yay or nay? Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, no, Panama is not on there. Oh, okay, this list is already wrong. <laughs> jump better. Jump is not on the list, right? It is not. Oh, thank goodness. Running with the Devil? Yes. Okay. You have gotten one so far. Running with the Devil. Number nine on on their list. Wow, that's all the way up at number nine. Huh? Yeah. Hmm, interesting. Let me see. Oh, how about how about Hot for Teacher? There you go. Yep. Hot for Teacher number <laughs> okay. 36. That one belongs ahead of Running with the Devil, if you ask no. me. But No, uh, you, they are correct on this. Hot for Teacher shouldn't be on the list. Okay, give me another band that should have more than one on this list. Uh, probably ACDC. They also have two. Can you name those? Uh, I'm going to guess Thunderstruck. No. Back in Black. Yeah, I'm back. Back in Black. <laughs> yes, yeah, Back one. in Black is on the list. So Back in Black and... Back in Black is number two on the list. So that's okay. way up there. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. It, everybody has a high opinion of that song for some reason. And it's not bad. Is that one of the song, the Tony Stark songs? Yeah, well, I, I don't know that it's a Tony Stark song, per se, but that was the song that was playing the Humvees as they're driving across, was it Afghanistan where they were, right? Okay. But uh, is You Shook Me All Night Long or Highway to Hell? It's neither. I've got big balls. Well, you do have the biggest balls of them all, but it's not on the list. Some say that I have great balls of fire. Mm -hmm. Jailbreak? No. For those about to rock, we salute you? No. <laughs> uh, dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap? Yes, Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap, number 31. Okay, that's a that's good a one. good song. Okay, yeah, give I used me... to put that on my running playlist. I would run to that song. It's good to keep your energy up. I'll just take your word for it. Uh, do you want to do another one, or do you want to just start calling out uh, bands? Let's see. How about Dream On by Aerosmith? No. No? Hmm. How about Walk This Way by Aerosmith? Walk This Way is on the list, number eight. Okay. Dream On, I think, is better than Walk This Way, but okay. It is. I'm guessing hard rock is not going to include heavy metal. So like me saying like a Metallica song is going to be silly. A lot of these seem to be heavy metal bands to me. I don't, I don't know the difference between hard rock and heavy metal, <laughs> but there are definitely heavy metal bands on this list. Okay. How about The Real Thing by Faith No More? Or sorry, The Real Thing is the name of the album. What is that, what is that song called? Epic by Faith No More. 
Excellent. It is on the list. Number 54, epic. Okay, how about Another Brick in the Wall by Pink Floyd? Uh, you may be surprised to discover there are no Pink Floyd songs on the list. No Pink Floyds? Okay. I guess, I guess I can understand that. They're generally not considered hard rock. They would just be rock. How about Welcome to the Jungle by Guns N' Roses? I'm sorry to tell you, that is number one on the list. Oh my gosh, are you serious? That <laughs> sucks. Are they one of those bands that has two? Because I would say Sweet Child of Mine as well. Uh, now, wait, wait, it's sweet. Well, I guess the whole band is hard rock. I was going to say Sweet Child of Mine, uh, a hard rock song. But no, it, just, just Welcome to the Jungle is on there from Guns N' Roses. Oh, that's all they get? Okay. When was this one? This one ended at uh, 2009, you say? Right just going to make a joke and say, what about that chocolate song by Baby Metal? Is that on there? Okay, moving on. Uh, no Beatles. How about Rock You Like a Hurricane by the Scorpions? Yes, number 18, Rock You Like a Hurricane. Good job. It's a good song. I, I quite yeah. like the Scorpions. Here I Go Again by White Snake. White Snake? Oh, no, that's too bad. No, here I go again, huh? Do they have a white, is there a white snake song? Or there is a white snake song. You have them alphabetized by bands? Yeah. Is it still of the night then? It is, what the hell is still of the night? In the still of the night! In the still of the night! Do, 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 do. <laughs> Come on, man, you know still of the night. I, I don't know. Ooh, baby, ooh, baby. Anyways. <laughs> There are so many songs by bands that start with W. I don't know how that's possible. But. Oh, it's got to have like White Lion, White Snake, uh, White, Great White. Oh, they're, they don't start with W. That was, I remember, the thing that they liked to talk about in the 80s, how we had all three of those bands going at the same time. Does it have When the Children Cry by White Lion? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. I... <laughs> I mean, I, I, I love that kind of stuff. Those 80s power ballads. I love them. But even I wouldn't put in When the Children Cry on them. Well, that's a good test for what kind of songs that they're including. Yeah, there's no White Lion. What about, like, grunge songs and stuff? Do we have, like, Alice in Chains or something like that on there? Uh, unfortunately, yes. Oh. Hmm. Is it, oh, what was that song? Ang no, well, I'll throw this one out anyways. Angry Chair? No. Okay. Okay, how about Iron Man from Black Sabbath? No. Okay, how about Paranoid from Black Sabbath? Yes, Paranoid is number four. Okay. Now, what about War Pigs? Or is Black Sabbath a two-songer? Black, Black Sabbath is a two-songer, but not War Pigs. Hmm. What about Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath? I can't believe the news today. Uh, no. I don't know. Darn. I'm not a huge, hugely knowledgeable when it comes to Black Sabbath, so I may be unable to... Yeah, the, the other Black Sabbath song is Heaven and Hell, number 81, Heaven huh. and Hell. I may not be familiar with Heaven and Hell. I wonder if that's one of those Dio songs. Oh, speaking of Dio, what about, um, let's see, <laughs> Rainbow in the Dark? Like a rainbow in the dark. The gayest of all heavy metal songs. But no, no, not on the list. <laughs> Dio had one other song. I can't remember what their other Do it. song was. How about Crazy Train from Ozzy Osbourne? Yes. Number 23, Crazy Train. Does Ozzy have two? He does not. Oh, okay. I was going to say, then Bark at the Moon. Let's go back to Dio. You, you can't remember that one? You want me to tell you that one? Yeah, just tell me what it is. I can't, I can't think of it off the top of my head for some reason. Holy Diver. Holy Diver. There we go. Song that I know, but I couldn't think of the name. Yeah, I hope that there are people listening right now that are, like, calling out answers. Because that would make it entertaining if I knew there was somebody who was like, I know it was Holy Diver. I said Holy Diver four times and Big didn't get it. I'd be like, good. He knew it. He didn't get it on purpose so that you would participate. Yep, that's why I was I was actually faking it. I knew Holy Diver the whole time. I'm actually looking at the list and reading it. I'm sitting right next to Rish. <laughs> okay, how about Breaking the Law by Judas Priest? Breaking the Law, Breaking the Law, number 12. Nice. 
Does Judas Priest have two? No. Would they? Is, do they have another hit song? Uh, Living After Midnight's a good song. Yeah, it is. They might have others. Okay. Let's see. There's no Pink Floyd. We already got both Van Halens, right? Yes. What about David Lee Roth? Does he get a solo song? Hell no. Oh, that's too bad. But, but. Sammy Hagar? What is Sammy Hagar? Uh, I, I can't drive 55. <laughs> yes, number 100. I think that's the one we would call a squeaker. <laughs> and when Gautier's Somebody I Used to Know was included in the 2019 right list, it dropped Sammy Hagar <laughs> off the list. A few minutes ago, you were talking about grunge. Let's do a couple of grunge songs. Okay, how about Plush by Stone Temple Pilots? Uh, no, even worse. Even worse? Like a worse song by Stone Temple Pilots? Yep. Um, um, Come on, Stone Temple Pilots had one hit song. I already said it. Nope. I was out of the country when Stone Temple Pilots were the biggest, so... <sighs> there are times, Mr. Data, when I envy you. I have a hard time remembering. They're, they had a song... Waiting of the summer in this world His tongue was very, very hard Does that help you? What is that one called? Interstate Love Affair or something like that? Very close. Interstate Love Song. I'm going to count that, but I know you wouldn't have gotten it without my beautiful rendition. You know why I got that wrong? Interstate Love Affair is a... Shoot, what's the band's name? Pam Tillis. <laughs> no. Shoot. Okay, well, well, I'll make this guess just because. Sister Christian... Night Ranger, there we go. Night Ranger did the ah, Interstate Love okay. Affair. Much, much. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Much, 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 much better band than Stone Temple Pilots. But no, I, I don't. I, 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 don't think you could count Sister Christian on a hard rock list. I, I, despite the band, it would be like Guns N' Roses doing November Rain on a list of hard rock or metal. Uh huh. Well, I mean, you said before that Guns N' Roses is all hard rock when I said well, uh, Sweet but, Child of Mine. So so are there there are any, like, monster ballad types on there? Yeah, I think so. But, okay, hey, let's stick with Night Ranger. What, what is on there that's not a love ballad that might be on this list? <laughs> I'm trying to think of the uh, song. See, the problem with Night Ranger is that I listened to all of their albums, so I know all of their deep cuts that people ah. don't know. And I'm trying to remember which one was actually a single. Okay, yeah, that's fair. I think I remember one time I actually sent you their album. Yes, yes you did. That's why I think of you, Nightly. And <laughs> No, you, you sent me all of their yes, albums. Yes, I probably did. Or at least all of their albums from the 80s. Yeah. I will say, Don't Tell Me You Love Me. Excellent, sir. That is it. Number... 92. Don't tell me you love me. Don't tell me Chalupa. Don't tell me I don't want to know. That's a good song. That was one of the songs that you sent me, I think. I, I want to say well, that I heard I that on, the, on the classic rock radio station, like the, the Eagle or whatever, you know, the modern classic rock radio station. Not 93 Rock that I listened to growing up, because I don't think they ever played Night Ranger when I was younger. Aside from Sister Christian. Uh, well, Sister Christian would be on my list. You could be like, Christian rock songs. You'd be like, Latin dance songs. <laughs> uh, Sister Christian would still be on the list. Yes, my brother had the uh, Seven Wishes album, which... That's the one that you which, sent me. Uh, and you know what? I love... Don't Tell Me You Love Me doesn't appear to be on it's it. It's not, no. Yeah, it was, it was in, a, in a different album. Like, The Secret of My Success... <laughs> was their song for that movie and it's a good song the secret of his success is that he's living 20, 25 hours, hours a, day. a day that's right speaking of what would be on my list kiss okay kiss is on my list i'm sure that kiss Ooh, that kiss Holland, is on Holland the list 
Uh, surprisingly, there is not 14 Hall & Oates songs on this <laughs> list. It, not written by Rich Outfield, apparently. No, there's no Hall & Oates songs on there, but there's got to be Kiss songs on there. So how about I Want to Rock and Roll All Night and Party Every Day? And Part of Every Day. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Number 16, Rock and Roll All Night. That's the only Kiss song on the list. Okay. Not Beth, what can I do? Did I ask you? I think I asked you, and I don't know if I ever got your answer. Are there any monster ballad type songs on this list? I don't know. Okay. I'm, I'm going through the list. I Because here and there I keep suggesting monster ballad type songs, and you scoff at them and call me a wuss, so... Well, I just, I don't see any... <laughs> so I'm going to say no. I think they must have said... No, come on. Even if it's a hard rock band that does a monster ballad, we're not counting that. Okay, I guess that's understandable. But yes, back back to the beat, y'all, that I keep saying, let's do some grunge. Oh, okay. Just so we could kick out like five or six of these. So back to Alice in Chains then. Is it Man in the Box? No. Okay, that was the one I was trying to think of. What about Them Bones? No. Uh, shoot. It's not... Angry Chair, we already said that one. It's not Rooster. Every time you say another Alice in Chains song, I get more sad. I don't know what songs were the singles from their self-titled Green Dog, Three-Legged, Green Three-Legged Dog album. Um, is it Wood? Damn it. Sayer already marked that you hadn't gotten that one. Yes, it was Wood, number 88. Ah, uh, that may actually be my favorite Alice in Chains song, so I guess I should have guessed it earlier. Okay, let me think of other bands that were grunge. Pearl Jam doesn't seem like they should get on the hard rock list. I can't think of any songs by Pearl Jam that were... Uh, maybe Jeremy? Jeremy Spoken! Uh, no, no, it's not on the list. Okay. Does Pearl Jam have a song on the list? Yes. They do? All, all grunge bands have a song on the list. <laughs> okay. Even Mother Love Bone? Yeah. Uh, and uh, Green Jello. They they all have... Does Green Jello really have a song? No. Oh, okay. I was going to say. Then I know what it is because they only had one song. <laughs> what is uh, the Pearl Jam song? Uh, Once Alive? No, that should be on there. That's a good song. It's not. Same album, though. What else? It wasn't Jeremy. That's the one that I would have expected as their hard rock song. Because everything else was so... Oh, it's got to be Even Flow. It is. Even Flow. I dare you to know another line. Um, smells like Teen Spirit. But of course. Uh, number seven. Does Nirvana have two songs? No, they do not. Okay. But... Yeah, if you want to do a couple more grunge bands, that would be cool. If, if, if not... I'm trying to think of some of the other... Uh, I've gone through most... Oh, we've got Soundgarden. Uh, Black Hole Sun? Won't you come and wash away the rain? Number 77. Okay. Are there, what, give me a couple other grunge bands and I'll see if I can name their song. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what grunge is. It's the same thing as anything, <laughs> as, as hard rock versus heavy metal. It's whatever they say it is. Whatever you say it is when you're pointing at right. it, right? Wasn't that uh, Steve Ely's thing on... on yeah, science uh, fiction, was that? You would always quote that. Say, science fiction is whatever I'm pointing at when I say science fiction. Yeah. That, or something. It was some, some author's quote. That's fine. I, I just, I feel like we're really, really boring the audience to death. Why don't you give me female artists? On here, because that's that's going to be easy. It's like famous Jewish sports stars of the 1970s. Okay, how about "I Love Rock and Roll" by Joan Jett? Weirdly, it is not on the list. Should be. Does Joan Jett have one on the list? Yes. "Hate Myself for Loving You." Weirdly, not on the list. Oh, geez. Uh, "Bad Reputation." Yes. Number 29. I know you got a bad reputation. Okay. And it isn't just... I don't give a damn about my bad reputation. She doesn't? Come on, man. <laughs> How about Kiss Me Deadly by Lita Ford? <laughs> yes, and that should be number one. It's 76 <laughs> on this list. Other female rock artists. That's, that's pretty much all of them, isn't it? <laughs> well, there's like a couple of female rock bands. 
I know there's one that you are fond of oh, that I they, think is one of the shittiest was, songs ever done. And it, it's on the list. Was it still, did that come out before this list ended? Dixie Chicks? What are you talking about? <laughs> okay, how about uh, for Misery Business by Paramore? Oh, uh, no, there's no Paramore on here. I, oh, okay. You were, I thought that they were a, a more recent band. They are, yeah. That's why I, I, was, I was wondering. Um, how about Cherry Bomb by The Runaways? Yeah, that's the one I thought that you would have picked. Number 52 there on you know, you know what's funny about that? Nothing. Is that Lita Ford and Joan Jett <laughs> were both on The Runaway. Oh, that's really pretty cool. <laughs> All right. Okay, how about, like, Cream? Does Cream show up on there? Do they have, uh, what's the Cream song? has a, Smoke on the Cream Water? Cream has a song on the list. Uh, Smoke on the Water's not here. Yet. Oh, shoot. It's that other one that I can never remember the title of. Uh, you know, I don't think Cream um, did Smoke on the Water. Oh, you know what? You might be right. That's might be Deep Purple. Huh? Number 11, Deep Purple, Smoke on the Water. Ah, there we go. Cream's song is... No, Deep Purple did In a God of Vida, and that's not on the way. <laughs> no, that wasn't Deep Purple. But who, who did In a God of Vida then? They were a one-hit wonder band. I can't even remember their name. But I think I may have it. Let me see if I can search for it. In a, in a Gata de Vida, baby. No, I think well, what I'm thinking of is Sunshine of Your Love by Cream. Cream, number 44, Sunshine of Your Love. Yeah, uh, Iron Butterfly was the name of the band that did In a Gata de Vida. Oh, Iron Butterfly. Yes, In the Garden of Eden. And it is on the list, number 24. Good job. Oh, wow. Wait, wait, I got that one. I, you just named the band. That, that is true. But that was because you confused what I was singing for what you were thinking. Uh, how about the Immigrant Song by Led Zeppelin? Uh, no, but Led Zeppelin is on the list. Okay, how about Black Dog by Led Zeppelin? No. How about this one seems like it shouldn't be right because you've worn me away from it, but how about Stairway to Heaven? No, no, not on the list. But I, I'm sure that would be on the list of, of classic rock songs. I, I think that would be in the top ten. What do you think? You know, when they did one of those VH1 lists, and I don't know what their exact criteria was for it, but it was the number one song like of all time or whatever. Hmm. Interesting. Well, maybe we'll do it. Out, I think number two was Rolling Stone's Satisfaction. Satisfaction. Well, maybe we'll, because this one will be so well received, we'll do a uh, <laughs> sequel where you can go through that list. Um, uh, okay. No, how, two Led Zeppelin songs. How about A Whole Lot of Love? Number three. Oh, wow. I think you have nailed the top five, sir. Um, when the Levee Breaks? No, sir. Cashmere. Cashmere, number 21. All right, so I got all the Led Zeppelin. Fortunately, we are totally out of time. <laughs> okay, uh, we're going to skip ahead. We're now in the second hour of our show. So I'm just going to name the female <laughs> band artists that are on the list, and you will identify the song, okay? Okay, I shall do my best. Pat Benatar. It's got to be hell is for children. <laughs> hell is for hell. No. No. <laughs> Shoot, Matt Benatar's biggest song is not coming. The, the dang song title is not coming to me. It's uh, the older I get, the more of these brain fart type escapades I get. Pat Benatar. Oh, just tell me it. We'll be here all day. It's the, it's the song that every time I steal boxes from a, a, a grocery store. Oh, Heartbreaker. Yeah, Heartbreaker. Should I give you that one or not? No, I don't. It, it, that doesn't count. Okay. Heartbreaker is number 72. Heart. <laughs> it's got to be either Barracuda. I'm guessing that's a no. It is Barracuda. It's number 34. I just oh, wondered what you'd okay. say for the second one. 
Yeah, I was thinking uh, there's there's another song. Magic Man, I think, is uh, another really big song that they had that could, could be considered hard rock. Mm. Okay, well, continuing the female artist list. Jane's Addiction. <laughs> you know, I am almost completely clueless about Jane's Addiction, which is funny because my girlfriend uh, in college, that was like her favorite band of all time. I don't know that I could tell you a Jane's Addiction song. That's fine. We'll, we'll open it up to the listeners. Oh, it, somebody just said it. Mountain Song, number 71. I don't know that one. I only know Jane Says and uh, Been Caught Stealing, but yeah. that's just me. Uh, we're still in the female artists. Twisted Sister. <laughs> Twisted Sister. This would be my, uh, my son's favorite song right now. We're not going to take it. It should be, but uh, it's, uh, it's not on the list. Are you kidding it's me? It's a song I don't know, but you do know by them. It's not? We're not going to take it? <laughs> wow. Uh, okay, is it that song that was on Pee Wee Herman's Big Adventure? <laughs> You're gonna burn in hell. In hell. That song? I don't know, dude. I don't... Oh, you don't know Twisted Sister. It's... I don't know Twisted Sister much, but I probably will know the song when you tell me the name of it. Uh, Marshall Latham does a hell of a cover of this. It's... Oh, wait, wait. I Wanna, I Wanna Rock. It is I Wanna Rock. Well done. Number 17. That is also one of my son's favorite songs. They, they watch the, the videos, which it's funny because I Want to Rock and We're Not Gonna Take It is basically the exact yes. same video. With the with... kid and his dad. <laughs> and I remember the kid saying, I want to rock! And it yeah. sounded strange. Yeah, I Want to Rock kid is, is in school when it's the principal. He says, what are you going to do with your life? And he says the same thing in both, both of them. <laughs> and it's the same actor playing the dude, too. It's just, it's a weird. That's cool. How about, let me throw one out just real quick. Tom Sawyer by Rush. Yeah, I was hoping we wouldn't get to that one. Number 19. Tom Sawyer. Okay. Um, we're, we're still on the female artists. Iron Maiden. Okay, Iron Maiden. Uh, what song would be there? Uh, You'll never get it. Never. Hey, don't don't do that. That's Number of the Beast. No. <laughs> they have one song I know, and it's not this. <laughs> what would be their song that they're gonna give to Iron Maiden? Two minutes to midnight. Mm, nope. <laughs> Aces high. No. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm, I think I'm out. It's a song called Run to the Hills. Oh, Run to the Hills. Number 14. Is that one you know? Okay. Yeah, I know it. I wouldn't put it as their number one song, but because, I mean, it's not, it's, it's good. <laughs> okay, so uh, I think rounding out the female artist list, Thin Lizzy. Thin Lizzy. Shoot, what is their song? They have one song that's really well known. I cannot remember the title of it. It's okay, it's called Jailbreak. Oh, yeah? You know it? Hmm. Interesting. I, I probably do, but I'd probably have to hear that now. It's number 73. Jailbreak comes across as a... There's an ACDC song that is Jailbreak, and that's what I think of when I hear that. Hmm. Found another female artist. Uh, oh. <laughs> Marilyn Manson, kids. Oh, Marilyn Manson. Uh, the Beautiful People? Yep, number 86. This is a fun ever start. This was the actual <laughs> female artist, and it sort of tells you when this list was compiled. Evanescence. Oh, they had that wake me up and Before you go-go, uh, yeah, don't leave me hanging like a yo-yo. That's, that's the full inside. title. What was that song called? Wake me up inside. I can't give uh, up. I can't take a dump. Uh, shoot, I can't remember the actual title of the song. I'm pretty sure that wasn't the title because that was Bring Me to Life. Damn, I already marked you didn't get it. Yes, Bring Me to Life, number 83. And uh, finishing off our female artist list, Alice Cooper. <laughs> School's out for summer? Yes, number 35. Pretty good. Welcome to my nightmare. The first time I ever saw Alice Cooper, he hadn't had an album in like years because he was not known to me yet. 
and he had a video come on. I think it's Poison. I think that was yeah, the that song. was his comeback album or song in the the eighties. That was my introduction to Alice Cooper as well. Yeah, and so they had the video come on, and we're like, Alice Cooper, Cooper, you know, me and my friend were sitting there watching the video, and we started joking, saying, oh yeah, it's probably this guy here. <laughs> and then it, we were blown away when it actually turned out to be the guy. We're like, what the hell? Why is his name Alice Cooper? <laughs> okay, uh, your favorite band. Let's go ahead and get that one out of the way, because I was wrong about the top five. Oh, is Metallica on there? It is. Is Enter Sandman the song? Yep, number five. Uh, <laughs> what can you do? It's a long ways from their best song, but it is their best known song. Absolutely. So yeah. I guess there's that. Okay, uh, I don't know what to do now. Okay, let me see if I can give you a couple more. How about Quiet Riot? They did a song called Come On feel the noise indeed they did number 41 oh, geez. quiet riot and twisted sister are the two that are always switched in my head they're the forlom and zuckus of the rock world in my brain <laughs> uh maybe throw me out bands like we were doing with the girl bands and okay well let's I'll just see if i can name some hair metal band so what would you consider hair metal all <laughs> Warrant. Okay, and what is the Warrant song that would be on this list? Oh, gosh. There's a Warrant song on the list? Uh, <laughs> Cherry Pie. <laughs> Number 56, Cherry Pie. Oh, my gosh. Well, Cherry Pie? <laughs> there was a good video attached to it. Hair Bands for 200, um, Alex. Winger. What is the Winger song on this list? Shoot, what was... Did Winger have a big song? Apparently. Uh, maybe 17? Excellent, 87. How did that go? She's, She's only 17. 17. But I don't give a crap, I'm gonna fuck her anyway. What's a uh, better oh, time? Whoops. Sorry, this was a radio show. I couldn't say well, that. Well, we've radio. got a three-second delay. Yeah, kids. you're gonna have to bleep that with, with the delay. Hair bands. We already determined no white lion, right? How about great white? Uh, no. No great white? No, no white lion, no great white. Hmm. How so. about Radar Love by Golden Earring? Well, that's an interesting choice. It, it, there's no oh. golden earring on the list, though. Um, okay, we're well, going back to hair bands. Uh, how about Cinderella? Does Cinderella have a song on there? They do not, because Cinderella's only song was Don't Know What You Got. When it's gone. Every <laughs> bad boy has his soft side. Okay, how about extreme? Does extreme No, have a because song it would be uh, more than words, and that's not a hard rock song. <laughs> but 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 you are you're totally in the right section of the Sam Goody right now. Hair bands. What about Do You Wanna Play? That was the song that was on Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. That was pretty hard rock. Of course nobody knows it, so that's probably why. How about Skid Row? Okay, what's the Skid Row song? Uh, Youth Gone Wild? Come on, man, you can do better than that. Uh, the only uh, Skid Row song to ever play on the radio. <laughs> the only Skid Row song to play on the radio station that you listened to what? would have been Cats in the Cradle. That's, that's uh, Harry Chapin. So no, come on, let's go. Skid <laughs> yeah. Row, they had one song. It's the one that would have played on the, the station that you uh, listened to. You don't to. get it. Um, shoot. What, what Skid Row song uh, do people know? Uh, it's that Ricky was a young boy. He had a heart of stone. Uh, 18 in life. Excellent. Yes. Number 60. Apparently that wouldn't even be on your top 100 Skid Row songs, but uh, yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, probably not. It's there. I'm, I'm going to give you that one because you sang it. <laughs> Here's one for you. Turn Up the Radio by Autograph. God, how, how is that a song? <laughs> Number 93, Turn Up the Radio by Autograph. Well done. Yeah, that's a good song, but I don't think the band even ever did a second album. I actually went and looked them up one time and I thought, weird... I don't even have a follow-up album, but yet they still play Turn Up the Radio on the classic rock station. 
there are a couple more hair bands more famous than Winger. Uh, Poison. What is the Poison song? Uh, something to believe in? Oh, these are these are hard rock songs, Jimmy. I know, but Poison was. I don't know that I have any of Poison's hard rock songs. Is the problem because their hard rock songs weren't. It's got to be the one. For... CC, pick up that guitar and talk to me. Talk dirty to me. Excellent. Yes, talk dirty to me. Number forty. What's another one of those cheesy hair bands? Def Leppard. Yes. Does that count as a hair band? Pour some sugar on me has got to be in the top 10 or something like that. It, right? it should be. It's not. It's a, this is actually a better song than that. But uh, yeah, they're, they're way up there in the hair bands. I would say a Poison, Def Leppard, and yeah. maybe one other band. that you. So Pour Some Sugar on Me is not the song that they're using. No. Though. Is it Rock of Ages? It is not. <laughs> But that probably belongs on the list. Uh, it's more than this. Uh, th th yeah, this is not really a hard rock song, but uh, it is a Def Leppard song, and it's a good one. Oh, it's not a hard rock song, yeah. huh? So, it, it, but it's it's not a monster ballad though, because we determined those weren't on this. Well, list, I'd say right? that Love Bites is a a monster ballad, but I'd say that oh. this song right, that's see. on the list, Love Bites, is not uh, is is similar. I mean, it's maybe a little harder than Love Bites, but... It's not... Hyster is it Hysteria? No. Okay, that's the only one that I would give is similar to Love Bites. Um, is it... It's not Rocket. No. Armageddon It? No. Are you just going down the uh, the Hysteria record? Well, no. I mean, that's all of... That's all of freaking uh, their most famous songs. <laughs> photograph? Yes, number 13, Photograph. I don't Why? want you. Are you serious? It's photograph? I don't need you. Oh, that's weird. I look up. The neighborhood cats are, wow, they're enjoying it. <laughs> okay, two more hair bands. Two more hair bands? Oh, I'm just making you name two more. Uh, L.A. Guns. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, it's a band. Kicks. That's a band I know a little bit better than a couple of these guys that are on the list, but no. Shoot, I don't know. Give me the names of these hair bands and I'll see if I can come up with their song. All right. Motley Crue. Oh, okay. Motley Crue. Home Sweet Home. Oh, that's a, love, that's a, a, a hair ballad, sir. Kickstart My Heart. No, that's the one you made fun of me for listening to the other day. <laughs> Shout at the Devil. This is the only, this is the only Motley Crue song I knew. So you know it's, it's their biggest hit. It is the 18 and life of Motley Crue. Okay, the biggest hit? Well, shoot, I mean, it depends on the era because for a while they were, everything they did was a hit. Uh, Smoking in the Boys Room? No, I, I, I did hear Smoking in the Boys Room. That's true, but no. Um, it's not gonna be Wild Side, although that's probably their best hard rock song. Uh, is it Dr. Feelgood? He's the one. They call Dr. Feelgood number 15. Oh, jeez. That song was not number 15 on the list of Motley Crue songs. <laughs> <laughs> He's the one that makes you feel all right. All right. Okay. Rat. Oh, round and round. <laughs> yes. Gotta be. Rat is a great band, by the way. I know you're going to think I'm silly for saying that, but it's a true statement. Well, I like round and round. I don't know anything else by them, but that's okay. Their singer had a very characteristic voice, which I found, uh, I always like that, you know, a singer where you're not just like, oh, which one is this? Is this Iron Maiden or is this Halloween? Halloween, <laughs> that's great. No, no, none of those. Wasp. <laughs> Can you believe Wasp made any list at all? I can't. I... That's the one you always make fun of me for because I bring it up every time we talk about the devil panic of the 1980s. Yeah, they were supposed to be the big devil band. I don't know a single Wasp song, so you'll just have to tell me what it is. Yeah, it's called I Wanna Be Somebody, 84. We'll have to look that one up because, yeah, I've never heard a Wasp song in my life. Me neither. Here's a uh, question. Does Tesla have a song on that list? No. <laughs> Ted Nugent does, Oh, though. Ted Nugent's got to be Stranglehold. No, I've never heard Stranglehold. You sure that's a real song? Cat Scratch Fever? 
Yeah, Cat Scratch Fever, number 32. Oh, Stranglehold's my favorite of Ted Nugent's songs. But Cat Scratch Fever is all right. Hair bands. We're still in the hair bands. Europe. Oh, <laughs> Europe? I think Europe was a Sing super it. group. Uh, the final countdown is Europe's song, is it not? Sing it! Sing it! The final countdown. <laughs> yes, number 66. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to call this a hairband, uh, although you may argue with me on this. Bon Jovi. Okay. I can give them hairband status. Uh, living on a prayer. No, that's a, a ballad. <laughs> although, it, I mean, that was their biggest hit, so I, I, it probably should be on here, but it's not. Okay. So we're going no well, ballads, huh? I, I think I've mentioned a ballad or two. I don't know. I don't know if that one quite counts as a ballad, but okay. Uh, Wait, say that again. Uh, bad Medicine. Does Living on a Prayer not count as a ballad? I don't... It's it's a, it's a little fast for a ballad, I would say. Whoa, we're halfway there. It's, it's much more fast moving than what you would normally consider a ballad. Is it, uh, whatchamacallit that I just said a second ago? Bad Medicine? No. But your love is like Bad Medicine. And Bad Medicine is what I need. Is it, you give love a bad name? It is, number 20. Bon Jovi. I guess that makes the most sense, probably, more than living on a prayer as far as hard rock. I think that kind of clears out the uh, hair bands... But I'm going to squeeze this guy in there, even though he's not really... He's not like these other bands, but he's Billy Idol. Billy Idol? <sighs> okay. Billy Idol is, is right there with Phil Collins and uh, <laughs> Prince. <laughs> no, he is not, sir. Someone that doesn't belong on this list because he was a pop artist. No. <clears throat> um, okay. It, it's not Moni Moni, right? It is not. Okay, it's got to be the other song that he did right at the same time. Uh, is it White Wedding? No. Okay, also not that one. And then it's the other song from the same time. What else was there? They, I think same album. It's the title track. Yeah, and I should know it, but I can't think of it. Darn it. I would not be good on a real game show because I would be doing that all the time. I'd like beep in and then be like, oh, it's the one... Oh my gosh, I, I can hear the song playing in my head. What was it? Rebel Yell? It is Rebel Yell, number 79. I will give you that one. Okay, the judges say we are running out of time, and so I will give the artist and you give the song. <laughs> Anthrax. Anthrax? Interesting. Uh, got the time. No. What would Anthrax's popular song be? I don't know that they ever had a song that ever played on any radio station, ever. I agree with you, sir. The song is called Madhouse, number 46. Is that I one you know? No, that I do. Which is weird, because I love Anthrax. It must be from, like, a later Anthrax. See, there was a, a specific time of Anthrax that I really liked. And that was uh, in the 80s to the early 90s. It's State of Euphoria, Among the Living, uh, Attack of the Killer Bees, Persistence of Time. And okay. I don't know where Madhouse is from. It's not from those albums, I don't think. All right, we're just going down the alphabet. Billy Squire. Didn't you just ask me the other day? I did. You sang a Billy Squire song? Wasn't it My Kind of Lover? It's not My Kind of Lover, is it? No. That would be kind of neat. I wouldn't think so. The Stroke? <laughs> Unfortunately, it is. Is it? I think that may have been his biggest hit. All right, uh, Boston. Oh, uh, okay. What would be Boston's hardest rockin' song? I, I don't know that this is a hard song. Uh, I guess it's harder than Amanda. Is it Long Time? No. It's been such a long time. Is it More Than a Feeling? It is More Than a Feeling, number 39. Yeah, that's not a hard rockin' song. I, I actually learned how to play that good song on the guitar three months that I took guitar lessons. I could go dung 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 That was all I could do though. I just played that over and over and over again. Which of course is what they did in the song too. But it still got you laid so it was enough that that's what you learned. 
Uh, the Clash. Uh, London Calling? No. The song that they do that I should... I was about... Is it Should I Stay or Should I Go? Yeah, 42. I had already marked that you got it. Okay. I was going to say, it's, it's overplayed, <laughs> but every Clash song is so overplayed that if I ever liked them at any point, that's in the past now. Okay, this is a good one. Creed. Uh, I want to say Arms Wide Open, but I don't think it's that With one. Arms Wide Open... Under the bank of it. <laughs> what other songs did Creed have? They had, I think, one other song? Yes, they did. And it was this one. <laughs> <laughs> Both from the same album. I don't remember what it was called. What was it called? Can you take me high? Oh, yes, that's what it was. To a place where blind men, ironically enough, hear. Can you take me high? It's just Creed, little man. You could do better. <laughs> Number 95. The Cult. Mm, the Cult I never liked at all. You wouldn't have gotten this one then. I like the cult quite a bit, and I don't know this song. It is called Love Removal Machine. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, there's not really anything you can do. Now, this is, to me, this is a novelty song, but apparently there are people that uh, like it enough that it made this list. The Darkness. I attack The Darkness. The Darkness is the name of the band? Yeah, uh, if, if you don't know, they, they were a one-hit wonder. They had a I bizarre not... song called I Believe in a Thing Called Love. Hmm, I don't know if I know that song at all. And if you are ever very sad because of what you have done with your life or your children's lives, listen to I Believe in a Thing Called Love, and before you kill yourself, you will smile. Uh, next song. Oh, hey, this is a good one. You'll name this one Fog Hat. <sighs> what was Fog Hat's song? We both knew a lady that liked Fog Hat. Yeah. Talking about hope, right? Yes. <laughs> hope is a good thing. Maybe the best Shoot. of things. What was Fog Hat's song? Studio audience is screaming it out right now. <laughs> Is it Slow Ride? Slow Ride. Ban -ban -ban Take it easy. easy. 45. Excellent. All right. The Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters. The one that they're going to pick for this. I think it's called All My Life or something like that. All my life. I've been waiting for something. Something satisfied. Never leave. All my life. Uh, no. Not that one. But I, now I'm wanting to hear that song. I think I'd only ever heard is a it, single food f Foo Fighters song on the radio, and it was this one. Is it Big Me? <laughs> I remember that song. Oh, they did play Big Me on the radio, yeah, but no, that's not. Is it This Is a Call? No, sir. Shoot. Is it... Where did that song go? <laughs> yes, it is. I don't remember what that song is called, though. Well, then I'm afraid you can't get credit. Learn to fly? Learning to fly. I ain't got wings. <laughs> I don't know why I sang that a little bit like Bob Dylan, but uh, it was called Everlong. Everlong. Oh, All right. Foreigner. Live in concert. Foreigner. Jukebox hero. Nope, not, not Jukebox Hero. Um, okay, well, then they're wrong. <laughs> what other foreigner song would they... have been waiting! Yeah, it can't be that one, because that's not allowed. You said no monster ballads allowed. For a girl like you to come into my life. <laughs> that can't make it yeah, easy. Yeah, that doesn't make it easy to come up with a different I'm still song. Right here. <laughs> Shoot. Uh, foreigner... <laughs> Foreigner has so many songs. I know, that's that's the hard part, is... And I know them all. We used to have the, uh, like, the greatest hits or whatever. It was, it was, it had a special name. Cold as ice. Cold as uh, ice. I want to know what love is. I want to know what love is. 
Singing all the hits, Foreigner, with special guest, Night Ranger. <laughs> I almost made you go to a show that was Foreigner, Journey, and Night Ranger, I think. How, what, why did you not make me do this? <laughs> I suppose that's a good question. I love all three of those. <laughs> Probably because it cost a lot of money. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think at the time it was so long ago that you were like Night Ranger. They only have one song and they suck. So shut up. No, I did not. The, the Sister Christian. And then I said, a... "Wait, wait, wait! Let me send you all their albums." Oh, that's probably true. But but Sister Christian is good enough. I would go see Night Ranger. You would go to their concert just to hear that one song. You'd be yeah, like the guy who went to see Styx. Because they wanted to see Mr. Roboto, and then they wouldn't play it the whole time. And you're like, Damn it. Hot blooded is the foreigner. Oh, hot blooded! I should have guessed that one. Grand Funk Railroad. Grand Funk Railroad. What song was theirs? We're an American band, wasn't that Grand Funk Railroad? We're an yes, an number ninety nine. That was number ninety nine. Also knocked off the list by Gautier. I don't know how that happened, but... Well, that was a big song. It deserved two <laughs> places. <laughs> Green Day. Shoot. All their songs have weird names. Yeah, but oh well. Dump Weed. <laughs> no. Do you have the time yes. to listen to me whine? Yes. What is that song called? About nothing and everything all at once. You are one of those. I am one of those melodramatic fools. Everybody. Neurotic, Neurotic to, to the, the bone. bone. No doubt, no doubt, about, doubt about, it. about it. Sometimes. What is that song called, though? Some mind plays me the tricks on me. It all keeps setting up. I think I'm, I'm cracking, cracking up. Is it paranoid? Is that what it's... Am I just, just paranoid? paranoid? I just don't... <sighs> the judges say I can't give it to you unless you name the song, but it was called Basket Case. Okay, yeah, I wouldn't have ever... That's the problem with a lot of those, like the grunge songs and stuff, is they won't give... The... Welcome to Paradise was also a good one off of that album that... I could have guessed. And what least... was the album called, Jimmy? Dookie! <laughs> Dookie! <laughs> okay, and what was the name of the band that beat Metallica out for uh, heavy metal? Uh... <laughs> Jethro Tull? Yes. Jethro Tull's song has got to be... Uh, shoot, what is it called? Slow Ride! Hey, Take stop it, it you monster! <laughs> I'm Sitting sorry. on a park bench, and he's uh, shoot. It's <laughs> it's now I can't come up with the tune even for it. It's that's right. That's what it is. Sitting on a park bench. Sitting on a park bench. Eyeing little girls with bad <laughs> intent. That song is called Aqualung. Excellent, number 90. All right, band made famous for its ballads, Journey. Okay, not Don't Stop Believing, right? No, but that should be on here. That would be number two, and it's not. Okay, my particular favorite Journey song is... Uh, what is it called? Shoot. Strangely, no. Uh, what's the name of the song? Ding, 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 Excellent. Uh, no, it's not on there. Oh, it's uh, not it? They must have considered that a ballad as well. What? Bastards. They need to die. Chalupa. Chalupa, it's for you. You. Too. Wheel in the sky. It keeps on turning, but not on this list. Send her my love. <laughs> I, I, I think that one might be a ballad. Faithfully. <laughs> nope. Too hard. Open arms. Nope. Too controversial. Who's crying now? 
<laughs> well, hey, you know Journey, sir. Keep going. Yeah. So when the lights go down oh, wow. in the city, what is that one called? Or did I already say that one? You haven't. Let's see if you can name one more before I tell you. Any way you want it is uh, the uh, song. On the that list. is not. Oh man. That's the way you need it. All right, Kansas. Oh, uh, that's got to be "Carry On My Wayward Son." Yes, sir. Number ninety-six. Rather than "Dust in the Wind," which is their only other song, <laughs> and that one's the ballad. So yeah, that's all right. Uh, Kid Rock. Now this is Kid one rock. I, I think I'd just give you the whole game if you could name this because I, I this isn't even English, sir. Uh, yeah, it's the ba witta ba da bang da bang boogie boogie whatever oh. up chuck the boogie song really? right. Uh, yeah, that that's what it is. Number forty seven. That song came out after rock was already dead. Huh. I think this was the one that put the last nail in the coffin. <laughs> Uh, the Kinks. Kinks. I should know what this one is, but it isn't coming to me. Give it to me. I'm, I'm going to struggle forever. Girl. You really got me now. Yeah. Excellent. You got uh, me so I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, you really got me as number 57. You'll probably get this one because you like shit. Corn. <laughs> <laughs> That was unsubtle, wasn't it? Corn's <laughs> biggest song. What would Corn's biggest song be? Got the Life? No. Um, I think the only song I ever heard on the radio by Corn. Is it All Day I Dream About Sex? Oh, no. I, I, let me change the station back. They said they were going to play Corn, and I nearly sprained my wrist changing the channel. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know. What it's called it Freak on a Leash, number 48. Oh, Freak on a Leash. I should have come up with that one. All right, Bad... Oh my gosh, is that how it goes? I'm pretty sure that was Freak on the Leash when he did that. Oh no. <laughs> I feel bad for bad mouthing Kid Rock now. Wow. Uh, bad company, sir. <laughs> It's not bad company, is it? <laughs> no, but that should be on there. Uh, it, I think feel like that's more of a hard rock song than this is. Is it? I said there were no ballads. I am wrong. Is it? Uh, no one knows what it's like. Is that even bad company? Be I don't sad, think so. I think man. that's I think called that's, Behind Blue Eyes. Yeah, I think that's the Who, isn't it? Okay, bad companies. I know what it is, but I can't think of it. Yeah, I don't know. What is it? Words that I uh, hear often. <clears throat> Feel like making love. Ah, dun, dun, tsh, dun, dun, tsh. Feel like making love. You, okay. You mentioned The Who. Let's, that's the only other band with two songs on the list you haven't That I mentioned. haven't said. Let's see if we can do those uh, two. My Generation. My Generation, number 37. Baba O'Reilly. No, sadly. That Bob O'Reilly should be up there. Greatest intro to a song of all time. Who are you? Uh, I don't think so. I'm saying I don't think so because it's not the name of the band, uh, the song that's on here. Magic Bus? <laughs> no. This is the song that is famous for the screaming sound in the song. Yeah, yeah. The one that they used on... Uh, you can do it. Later... CSIs or whatever. Uh, I can't think of it. Won't get fooled again. Oh, yes, there we go. We won't get fooled again. All right. Edgar Winter Group. Sorry, man, I don't know the Edgar Winter Group. I probably I might know the song. Yeah, but I don't they, know the, they had one band. song that had any play at all, and it was before my time, called Frankenstein. Okay, I think I've heard the, the, yeah, the, the I have song too, but before. But. It's not worth mentioning again. How about the Ramones, kiddo? Uh, hey, ho. Let's go. Let's go. Is that Blitzkrieg Bop? It is Blitzkrieg Bop. Good job. Chalupa all night now. Then you get to Chalupa. <laughs> uh, red Hot Chili Peppers. Uh, is it Give It Away? Give It Away now. What you got, you got to give it to your mama. Motorhead. 
Motorhead, you know, I never, Motorhead I've never heard has, a Motorhead song in my life, and neither of you. So I'll just tell you what it is. I've heard plenty Motorhead songs never. in my life, but they have the worst singer. I, Lemmy is his name. Was his and name? And I cannot stand his voice. You. Let me see if I can think of the song that is their famous one that won't come to my head. Overkill, maybe. No, I'll just have to take your word for it that there is a Motorhead song called that, or that there are any Motorhead songs. But this one is called Ace of Spades, and it's number 10. Oh, Ace of Spades. You know it? Yeah, I know it, but I've not listened to it a lot, because like I said, I can't stand to listen to Lemmy's voice. Would you say that you can't stand him? I can't stand him. Right, right, but would you say you can't stand him? him no 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 it's i can't stand him <laughs> can't stand him <laughs> up and at them mega death yeah recently i've gone back through and been like trying to try out bands that i didn't listen to back in the day because i've come to realize that i hate all new bands and so there's no point sitting around expecting new good songs to come out that I'm going to like. And so I started going back and listening to songs from old bands. And so I tried Megadeth. Motorhead out again. I think I listened to them back in the day and I couldn't stand them. Couldn't stand them. And I still can't, unfortunately. I, I don't know how good they could be, but I can't listen to Lemmy's voice. It's just the worst. Hmm. And I'm sure there's probably people listening right now saying, what an idiot you are. Lemmy's great. And he's well respected as far as heavy metal and hard rock people go, but I can't listen to him sing. It's just, it's horrid. All right. How about Leonard Skinner, the, the greatest, greatest band, band ever, ever to die in a plane crash? No, that was Mamona's Assassinas. Uh, Leonard Skinner. The Big Bopper. What would their hard rock song be? Not this. Oh, is it Sweet Home Alabama? No. Okay. So that's like their most well-known song. Not Give Me Three Steps, or Two Steps. Give no, sir. I'll, I won't give you any steps at all. It's not that. Is it Simple Man? No. Is it... I'm impressed, though, that you know more than zero Skinner songs. <laughs> is it Freebird? It is Freebird. <laughs> 26. It's not a hard rock song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. Uh, how about Living Color with a U? Oh, Living Color. Yeah, that's a great song. The song is called uh, Cult of Personality. It is. And it still knocks my socks off. Well, ironically enough, it's number 69 on the list. Oh, wow. Uh, and, and once again, no wonder. Megadeth with opening band Slayer. <laughs> Florence and the Machine. And what? Really? Man of War. Halloween with opening band Rick Astley at the Houston Amphitheater this Friday night. Tickets will sell out. What would Megadeth's song be? It's I, Marionettes. The Symphony of Destruction? No, is that Megadeth? See, that's, that's an interesting band because I've seen their album covers over and over, hundreds of times and never heard a single Megadeth song. Peace sells, but who's buying? That is correct. Number 51. <laughs> that was it? I had marked it as, <laughs> as a, a no, but I will give it to you. <laughs> like a rainbow in the dark. Rollins Band. No, I don't know, man. I never listened to a Rollins Band song. Liar. No, that's the, that's the song. It's called Liar Number That's 64. Smashing Pumpkins. We're talking have, uh, hard rock, so it's got to be the... Shoot. How does that song go? Butter... Bu bu wow, you... Bullet with butterfly wings? Yeah. yeah. The less said about Smashing Pumpkins, the better. But, you know, despite all my rage... Still just a rat in a cage. Isn't that the name of the song? It is... Bullet with it is. Wings? Bullet with Butterfly Wings. Number 91. Okay. Uh, Steppenwolf. Steppenwolf. Born to be wild. Yeah, I'm not sure that belongs on here, but 53, that one. The Stooges. Hmm. I've heard the Stooges called the first p 
punk band ever? What is their song? Wasn't it Iggy and the Stooges, or is that two different bands? I don't know. Maybe Iggy was in the Stooges? Yeah, I think so. You don't know that one, right? I don't think so. Search and Destroy, number 49. I remember a Metallica song called Seek and Destroy, because you wrote eight stories titled that. All right. Very, very high on this list. Survivor. Uh, Eye of the Tiger. Yes! And that song belongs there. That's a good hard rock song. The awesomeness of the song is so great that I couldn't say it without passing a kidney stone. 63 <laughs> on the list. We're getting very, very close to the end. Velvet Revolver. Shoot. You know a Velvet know. Revolver song? You have impressed me, sir. I should know this song. Uh, what is it? It's called Slither, number 85. Uh. All right. Yeah, I didn't know it. <laughs> the White Stripes. I feel like this has to be the newest song on the list. Is it Seven Nation Army? Yeah, number 75. You got that one quite easily. Are you a fan? They're all right. I like White Stripes. When would you say Seven Nation Army was from? Probably like 2005 or something like that, maybe. Okay, so I was right. All right. Yeah, we used to sing Seven Nation Army at uh, soccer games all the time. Everybody likes to chant that song for some reason. Oh, okay. <laughs> White Zombie. It's not Thunder Kiss 65, is it? No. Should be. But it is number 68. Does that help? Oh, it's number 68. Okay. Uh, let me scroll up on the list here then and look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Living Dead Girl was Rob Zombie, wasn't it? Yes. It, it, that was Rob by himself. He's not on the list, unfortunately, but oh well. Shoot, now I'm thinking of Dragula, which was also just Rob's. This is the only this. white zombie song I ever heard, but that's just me. I wasn't into that kind of music. Yeah, their second album had like three songs on it that actually made radio play. Ah, uh, shoot, I can't remember their names. Just lay it on me. More human than human. More human than yeah. human. Takes us to the end of the alphabet. Z, Z, top. Legs. She's got legs. I was going to joke that that's what it was, but no, it's it's not. <laughs> she knows how to use them. It's not no, legs? it's a much oh. more annoying song. That's their most rockinest Number song. 67. Is it Tush? <laughs> uh, oh boy, I don't like ZZ Top, man. Wow. Oh, is it really? It's not cheap sunglasses. <laughs> it's not double back from uh, back, to, back the to the future too. No, it isn't. All right, so that only leaves three songs left on the list. Number fifty-five is the song that would be number one on my list. Greatest rock song of all time by the Blue Oyster Cult. <laughs> Okay, that one is uh, Don't Fear the Reaper. Ah, <sighs> We can be like they are. I wrote a drabble based on Don't Fear the Reaper. Yeah, you <laughs> ran it on the show. Yeah. Come on, baby. Don't fear the Reaper. We can be like they are. <laughs> uh, number 55 should have been number one. That leaves only two lo- songs left on the list, neither of which I have ever heard of the artist, let alone the song... The first one is Andrew W.K. Oh, that's the guy that does those. It's like something about partying. He does like these party songs. It's time to party, to party. I think. You know what? I'm going to give you that one. It was called Party Hard, and it was number 89. Just the fact that you know who Andrew W.K. is. I I probably give you five <laughs> points for that, because it just makes me sick that, that that's on the list. I... I I don't know what that is. And then uh, MC5. MC5? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I've never. Does, that sounds like that should be on the hip hop. It totally list does. Instead or something. Yeah. So, Kick Out the Jams is the name of the song. It's number 65. Yeah, that does not sound like a hard rock song to me, but. Kick Out the Jams by MC5. Yeah, I think you should look that up while I'm tabulating your final score, okay? I am doing that now. Okay, just a second. Ooh, they have an extended mix. Oh, it's a 1970 Six. song? Pump up the it's jam. Eight, nine, 30. Pump it up. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's a song that goes, went to a party last Saturday night. Didn't get laid. I got in a fight. Oh, oh. It ain't no big thing. It ain't no big thing. Yeah. That's F Me Deadly, isn't it? That was on this list. Kiss Me Deadly was on the list, yeah. You got 66 out of 100 on this, which huh. I believe is a passing grade. <laughs> That's right. I got a D plus. <laughs> which is just a tiny bit better than the aggregate score this episode has gotten by the listeners. Yeah, this episode got a D minus. I have wasted your entire evening and theirs as well. And uh, let us know if you want us to ever do this again or to take our lives. <laughs> and e yeah, Donate to the show and we may just go ahead and take our own lives. Hopefully you thought that this was fun. Uh, have you made it home yet? Yes. Uh, an expert on hard rock, I am not, but I am Rish Outfield. A D-plus student in hard rock, I am, and I am... Big Yanklovich. See you later next time. I mean, see you next time, folks. <laughs> Turn up the radio. By autograph number 93. Kick out the jams. <laughs> that's right, autograph. That was on the list, right? It was. Yeah, that's a good song. Man. Turn up the radio. I want to hear it. Won't you give me some more? All right. Bye, everybody. That gets my go is produced under a Creative Commons 3.0 license. This show is lame. As lame as Rish Outfield. Yeah, my battery's about to die on me. <laughs> I press the button. You're listening to the Dune Steve Audio Fiction Magazine.